Today, I am making my version of a Chinese steak. If you guys like my recipe, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Just check out this juicy, juicy, juicy steak of mine. Look at that. This recipe is so easy to make. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. And yeah, you will be very soon to make one of these delicious Chinese flavored steaks. Very good for dinners, friends and family. So yeah, hope you guys like this recipe. So over here I got some uh, steak. You can use any steak. It doesn't matter about the weight. Okay, so first I'm marinating the steak with some salt. So just sprinkle a, a little bit of salt around the steak. Also sprinkle some uh, black pepper. Sprinkle some white pepper. And add in one teaspoon of sugar. Then I also drizzled some Chinese rice wine. If you like a very uh, wine flavor, just add more wine. And then uh, also drizzle a little bit of oyster sauce. Just give it a good uh, amount, twirl a little bit around the steak. It doesn't require too much oyster sauce. And here is uh, soy sauce. Also just drizzle around the steak. And use any brand of sesame oil and also just give it a little bit on the steak. You just put on a glove, just mix all those uh, ingredients together. Mix it all up into the steak. And once it's mixed up, we can add in a little bit of cornstarch. Okay, it's mixed. So here I got one teaspoon of cornstarch. Just dump that in and then just give it a quick mix. The cornstarch will uh, thicken up the sauce and it will help the sauce uh, get into the steak. Yeah, so let it marinate for about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's time to fry the steak here. I've got a little pan and some olive oil. As you can see, I'm putting on the steak and you see all that oil is like splatting out everywhere. So guys, if you're making the steak, just uh, I prefer just use a pot yeah, to, to pan fry the steak if you don't want all that oil to fly out or you can cover it with a lid. But for the purpose of this video, I didn't cover it up to show you guys my steak, how it's prepared. So yeah, so we're going to be frying the steak about one minute, one to two minutes each side. And then we just going to flip it around. It depends if you want it full cooked or medium rare, how you like to eat your steak. I like mine uh, medium rare, so about uh, six to seven minutes the steak was ready. As you can see, one to two minutes, give it a flip so it won't burn up. If you cover it with a lid, it will cook the meat faster inside. If you don't cover it with a lid, then it should be about medium rare. So as you can see, you're gonna be pan frying each side until you see a little crisp. When you added that one teaspoon of sugar, yeah, it helps the steak get that little crisp. And then over here, I've got some uh, sweet chili sauce. Just drizzle around on top when the steak is almost ready. And also, i got some honey. Also drizzle around. Okay, this, uh, then we're just gonna pan fry it and mix the, the sauces up together to give that little glaze on that steak. A sugary glaze, very tasty, guys. Yeah, once this uh, sweet chili sauce and honey combines with the rest of the marinade of the steak, it tastes absolutely delicious. Then you're just gonna Pan fry it on low heat until the sauce dries up a bit on the steak on how you like it. And voila, the steak should be ready. Give it a little bit more of a char. Then voila, very tasty steak guys. Well, this is my version of a Chinese steak. How, would I, how I would make a Chinese steak. I've tasted many Chinese steaks. They, they're like 
they use a lot of black paper and all that that's not my style i like it a bit sweet and and shiny like this so guys i hope you guys uh, try this uh, recipe out and let me know how it went if this video um, was good uh, just help me give this video a thumbs up so yeah thanks guys for watching just look at that piece of medium rare steak yummy very juicy and tasty thanks guys for watching